Suku Midoriya, aka Deku. Today we're going to be watching all Deku's forms in My Hero Academy. This video is by Yinkerist. Like, subscribe. Let's get on with this. From being a quirkless kid with no hope of ever becoming a hero to becoming humanity's oh. only hope in the fight against ultimate evil. From basically being a nobody my hero academia. to a child, one of the Kachu strongest. My heroes, always dreaming of becoming as incredible as them. Unfortunately, by the time the children his age started manifesting their quirks, he wasn't showing any Now, I really don't know much about Deku, to be born. very honest. I had a Deku comment from Giant, a.k.a. Maker9. 9843 BH, please react to villain Deku tomorrow. Hey, I, I couldn't promise you tomorrow when, but here you go, my guy. This is for you. All right, let's go back into the video. Deku remained optimistic. Let me be educated a bit on Deku. As he studied pro heroes for years, he became familiar with many fundamental hero skills and tactics. He was eventually able to use some of those skills when he took on the sludge villain in the order to protect Bakugo. The sludge villain? Wow. His bravery and determination during the sack caught the eye of What the heck is that thing? I'm going to have to look into that fight. He decided to train the sludge Deku hero? Immense potential. Villain? After Whatever that was? Training, Deku developed Sounds hectic. Strength and was finally ready to inherit All Might's quirk. One for all, uncontrolled. After attaining one for all, Deku couldn't use one the for all, and his powers were mostly out of control. Furthermore, he needed to be really careful while so using it, as the power could. I just want to see what forms he's coming threat. through. So there is the little innocent boy stage. Then robot, there is, I guess, him becoming power full and gaining, you know, insane abilities and stuff to a stage where. From then on, why does he become villain? Creative and unique ways to use one for all effectively. For example, he realized that he can concentrate the power in only his fingers and create an enormous and powerful shockwave without completely immobilizing him. <sighs> By applying this correctly and utilizing I've his got that as well. What's the big skills, deal? Deku was able to fight toe to toe with some of the strongest students of Class 1A, such oh. as Bakugo and Todoroki. Todoroki! For all somewhat under control, if he wanted to get stronger, oh. Deku needed to find a way to oh, use his he's working out a lot, I guess. Next for him, Deku Full Cal. Under the tutelage of Gran Torino, the former that looks sick, Mike, actually. Deku managed to acquire more control over One for All, leading to the creation oh. of One for All. He's Full focusing on his powers. Allows Deku to spread the use so it's of all in the all mind. Rather than focusing I need to start focusing on my stuff as well because I'm sure I can gain these like powers as well. I'm not even lying. Like, him. Learning Full Cal was game changing. For Deku. Uh, not that and stage, but still. A component of his fighting style, allowing him to battle against much stronger opponents than before. Furthermore, by studying Gran Torino and Bakugo, Deku learned how to propel himself through the air using the same movement style. Oh. This later allowed him to locate That's the city by quickly searching throughout the area. Deku also displays incredible reflexes in this way. I, I don't think I can gain this sort of level powers, really to be honest. Before. Deku first began using full cal at 5% of one for all, but soon increased this limit to 8% after inventing one for all, full cal, shoot style, and fighting with Bakugo. He can freely adjust the percentage of one for all at any time as he sees fit, oh. but going over his limit will cause massive damage to his body. Full Cal enabled Deku to compete more closely That's with insane. his classmates in the physical aspects and even allowed him to fight against top villains like the hero killer, Stain. So, when he uses what? Wait a second. So, when he uses his powers in these fights, before, his he basically relatively vulnerable damages his body. Is that, is that, is that what I'm hearing? Like muscular and overhaul. One for all, 100%. One for all, 100% is a technique that allows Deku to attack the enemy using the full One for all, 100%. One the desired part of his body. Sounds incredibly powerful, but there's a twist. The specific body part Deku uses will end up breaking pretty badly. Moreover, further usage of the same limb after an initial oh. attack can cause scarring, as seen in his fight Does that heal? Let Midoriya me know. To get surgery on his right hand Giant, injuries. let me What's know. Does, does that heal that then? What happens? 100%, Deku can activate his ultimate move. One million percent Delaware Detroit Smash. This attack basically consists of Deku using his 100% Delaware Smash and his 100% Detroit Smash simultaneously, combining their destructive power into one attack. This is one of the strongest wow. moves in Deku's arsenal, and it allowed him to completely 
completely overpower Muscular, an incredibly strong villain he had no chance of defeating before. It's important to mention that Deku doesn't actually use 1 million percent as that would be impossible. It's simply his way of shouting his feelings towards this unusual strength. Alright, compared to the beginning, Deku has become pretty powerful, but there are still many forms left that are even more powerful than this one. How many one forms are there? Like 10? 10, 10 forms? Okay, we already talked about how powerful Deku is when he focuses 100% of his power in his limbs, but what if that same 100% was spread throughout his entire body? How strong would he be then? Well, that's exactly what he achieves in this form. With Eddie's rewind quirk, Deku could use full cal at maximum power because she kept rewinding the damage done to his body. In this form, Deku achieves a tremendous boost in his wow. overall abilities to the point that he manages to overwhelm Overhaul and plays a crucial role in defeating him. Deku's strength and speed... Uh, sorry, I had to sneeze, so uh, I, 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 I stopped it for a sec. And he even gains the ability to move through mid-air using wind pressure. While using the full cal at 100%, Deku's hair... Uh, Deku is actually insane. Saying. A brighter shade of green than normal, and blue so who, who is stronger, Deku or let's say Goku, Saitama? Is, is he in their level as well or not? United States of World Smash, completely overpowering Fleck and collapsing the entire room they were in. This feat is even more impressive when you consider that Fleck had a reflect quirk, which seemed unbeatable until that point. Two quirks, Deku. Oh. In season five, we learned that the core of One for All has grown in strength from being passed from user to user, and the quirk factors of all of the. I might have to start watching them, but the the that ass. This means that Deku seems a lot of seasons of with a lot of episodes. Have, and this is exactly what he does in episode ninety-eight when he awakens oh. his new quirk, Black Whip. Black Whip is a quirk. Okay, that that's a lot of catching up. That's gonna take me like a year used by the fifth one for all user, Daigoro Bakugo. At least. Daigoro used this quirk to bind enemies and improve his mid-air maneuverability. However, by the time the quirk reached Deku, it had gotten much stronger due to one for all, to the point that the young hero had struggled to control it. The very first time Deku manifests Black Whip, I want to see his villain side, his come on. in danger and causing him immense pain. <laughs> However, after training with Bakugo and All Might, he learns to use the <laughs> less powerful version of it. Roblox. The key to effectively controlling this quirk uh, By the way, guys, I do have a Roblox channel subscribe to it please b h gaming i'll leave the link always down below in the comment section and in the description using it to swing off buildings to increase his mobility he also uses it creatively to support his main quirk and even uses it like suyu uses her tongue by shooting the tendrils from his mouth oh. as his arms were broken from the overuse of one for all it's crazy so one for all his hands are broken he's gonna use other parts like his tongue more powerful three quirks deku float god float damn this guy is Genius. Allowing the user to levitate midair. This quirk initially belonged to Nana Shimura, the seventh user of One for All. Deku first demonstrates this quirk during his fight against Shigaraki. So basically, he he watches others the the with these attack. powers, he again and he just basically copies them clear from his attack and, and, and starts using them himself. To the villain from landing any hits. Moreover, due to One for All, Float's power has increased, allowing it to function similarly to flight. Therefore, just like Nana, Deku uses the quirk mainly for transportation to quickly travel through the city whenever a threat arises. Four quirks, Deku. Danger Sense. The next quirk that Deku awakened was Danger Sense, originally belonging oh. to the fourth one for all user, Hikage Shinomori. Danger Sense is a really powerful quirk. Uh, now now he's hitting the trouble nearby. side, when I the guess. When the quirk spots a threat, be it a malicious intention or a negative emotion, it results in the user feeling a stabbing pain in their head. Deku first felt the stabbing feeling when Shigaraki severely Ooh. injured Bakugo. He Ooh. then felt the same thing again when Gigantomachia was about to get free from the best genus wires. However, he only realizes what the feeling means after Dobby uses his flames to knock him out. It was then that Deku remembered All Might's notes about the quirks of the previous one for all users and realized that he had awakened Danger Sense. Due to the quirks Danger of Sense. And Deku's lack of training so, with it, he found it hard to stay uh, conscious. I'm, this this is such a fascinating character so to be honest for me. This is a way to track down nearby criminals through their evil thoughts. Like the other quirks, Danger Sense has some drawbacks. For example, the quirk doesn't detect anyone who isn't a threat to the user, like Toga, who holds great affection in her heart for Deku. That's why this quirk doesn't work when she attacks him, as there's no malice in her mind. Five quirks, Deku. Oh, Baji. wow. Baji. The quirk of the third user of One for All. Is so be, basically, this chick can get away with doing quirks. anything with Using him. Using this quirk, Deku <laughs> repeats regular motions, like jumping up and down, which builds up and stores energy inside of him and lets him use it whenever he desires. Uh, hey, hey, yo, yo, yo! One second, one second. <laughs> 
I need to start doing that myself as well. Maybe I can get some of these energies. Enormously increases Deku's power and provides an explosive oh, burst of yeah. speed. Uh, What's truly noteworthy is that the user can choose to use only a certain uh, amount of energy. Making just a few bounces and look at me. Situation. Deku first uses the quirk against Lady Nagant and builds energy. Lady Nagant. She looks elegant. He eventually gathers enough energy to become faster than a bullet and successfully defeats Faster the than a the only bullet? The downside to this incredible quirk is that it takes a long time to I, I suppose it's not that fast though. Faster than a bullet at first loss. I thought, oh Six wow. Deku. But, smoke screen. you know, Deku inherited smoke like screen Goku for example, is faster than the speed of light. The quirk allows the user to generate a thick cloud of smoke from their body. This smoke helps in effectively obscuring the vision of opponents and is often used strategically. Deku obtained this quirk shortly after the paranormal liberation war and demonstrated its use in his fight with muscular. Due to his lack of experience Whoa, that thing looked huge. For all, Deku releases too much smoke, blinding himself for a short period. Wow, However, that's an float, insane ability. He uses a smoke screen again to greatly limit the villain's visibility. Although the quirk doesn't like, have any He's basically it plays a, a SWAT team all by himself. Other quirks. For example, during Deku's fight against Lady Nagant, he uses smoke screen to buy himself some time to gather energy using. Uh, that's a power I think a quirk I can do. Just watch this. Originally belonging to the second one for all users. Initially, gear shift. You see, all smoke. Wasn't as strong, and the second user primarily used it to increase the speed of bullets. However, due to the stockpiling effects of one for all, the gear shift much stronger over time. And when used in conjunction with one for all, it's capable of warping the very laws of reality. Due to this incredible increase in power, the quirk became really dangerous to use. This means that Deku can only use this power as a last resort during battles. Furthermore, when Deku does what would happen if he shift, uses it? He only has about five minutes to finish the battle because. After that, he will most likely faint due to the strain on his body. When he first obtained the quirk, Deku used And how long does he take to recover then? By empowering and increasing like, is it a long time? To the point that he even broke like, the sound days, barrier. weeks? Additionally, Deku can combine his gear shift and Fajin quirks and perform an ultimate move called Overdrive. When Deku performed this move, Yoichi described that his power is now at 100 I don't know, at the moment I'm thinking Deku, okay, fair enough, like a decent... Ever. Click character video, where we explained all but 10 one for all users and in my opinion like would he would he be able to fight someone like saitama i, I don't think so goku i don't think so even even like basically like superman and uh hulk and all of that i mean they can fight you for ages for a long time and they they they, they don't get hurt and even when they do get hurt they just take it and start fighting again and again and again but Deku seems like if he starts using his powers he might damage them destroy them for a while but then once they come back he's done five minutes are over for him timer is up like subscribe and I hope to see you soon